Hello, it's Alexia Wetch, where dreams come to die. I'm going to be reviewing another copy from 2014 called Helga Tolgaer, or Helga, or however the hell you pronounce her name. So as I just said, she came out in 2014, and I was lucky enough to purchase her last year at the 50% off sale. Well, with my advantage, she actually came up to 80% off. So if you actually realized about her, that isn't her actual tombstone. It's a very disgusting look. So, uh, as you can see, of course, it, don't judge that. Um, as you can see, her thing is that's not real tombstone. So, of course, to my advantage, the employees at the 50% off at the time were very bitchy. And, of course, what did they do? They went in the back for like five minutes, like, oh, we can't find your tombstone! So then it went out, so then it went out to be 30% off! to my advantage she was 80% off which is amazing because she works perfectly and really the only con about her is her tombstone and which that came for free so you know everything worked out in the end but you know what you can't even really tell that it's not her tombstone the only issue is me actually trying to fit it into her which is probably the worst part about her but like at the same time it, it just it doesn't look like that enough rambling on about her now I'll actually get into her detail so as you can see I actually kind of tried to put a little bit of blood on her because I guess she but honestly, this part is probably like, the best part about her, is that it's just some, yeah, whatever. She consists of a bunch of black and gray hair, which I tried to brush out, which did not come out the best. Um, her face is made out of decent latex for once. Well, since this is 2014. I, I presume it's latex. Um, her, she has one yellow eye and then another eye that, of course, I guess popped out of the socket. I don't know. From the feeling of things, she was like some sort of a witch considering she had the witch's nose in the temple. And uh, her teeth are very yellow and green actually surrounding it, which I did not realize until I started filming her demo. demo. She is missing one tooth in the center, which hopefully doesn't change. And she's also missing another one right here. And her mouth is positioned in a open pretty cool from the way it, it, it suits her nicely. It does look kind of weird. And her mouth moves, obviously. And she has a, another pimple right here on her chin. She consists, I guess, of dirt all around her face, which actually very, variously gives a very dirty appearance, which I love considering she is from in a tombstone. But Basically, that just, I guess, gives it a really good appearance and also a more similar look because she's a head from the ground. Of course, she's going to be covered up in dirt. Yeah. Her hand is just a hand, which is coming out of the ground. Unfortunately, I kind of wish this piece was not very visible. I guess you can kind of hide it, but that will mess it up, so whatever. Um, around her hand is a bunch of glue with all of these things on, which I don't know what you call that, grass, moss, whatever. Uh, it's cool. I just hate the fact that this is very visible, which is actually probably the biggest con with her. But other than that, I don't think too many people will really look into that because her head basically like covers up the whole thing, which is fine. Her This part of her hand is actually the most visible. Her arm isn't too visible, realistically, unless you get her at this angle, but like, not even. She has elf-ish ears, which are also consisting of a lot of dirt, which actually, I just looked into her ears now, and it just looks really cool. She also has a lot of wrinkles all over her face, which I guess you can say is she's an old egg, which is hot. Uh, same thing with her other ear. And believe it or not, the most coolest part about her, I find, is this. That the fact that it's just so detailed under here, and it really, this doesn't even have to be all that detailed, really. Like, they even put the bone, I guess the look of her neck bone or whatever you call that. I don't really care, I don't study bones. Uh, this is, like, very detailed, really. I just kind of wish it didn't have such a pink appearance, which I probably am going to, like, start to cover that up with a little bit of fake blood just to give it a more darker appearance. Um, her neck, I guess you can see that there's more dirt. Realistically, her, there's dirt everywhere. Honestly, the, but the, um, there's more um, blood surrounding the back. And, oops, sorry, her face is very loud. Um, there's way more behind here, which is amazing. So that's pretty good. Her beard.
base is extremely cool. This is like a nice detail, I guess, where you can actually cover it all this stuff up. Um, there's where her adapter goes. This is her volume, her jack, and yeah, and the foot pad jack also, I presume. Her base consists of many leaves and I guess grass and moss. It also is basically very thin plastic and I presume is on the dirt, as you can tell. So it's a very grayish plastic with dirt spider all over and it's quite shiny. Her sensor of course is on the base of her and if you actually think it was like in her hand or on her face, you're wrong. It's right there. Her sensor unfortunately is not really the best, but that's really just doesn't matter. I'm probably gonna use a foot pad, step pad, foot pad, up there anyway, so that's fine. Here's a demo on her right now. Well, that was her demo. She's good, and I know you've heard clicks, but honestly, that's just something I'm trying to fix right now, which, honestly, I don't know really what it has to do with that little smudgy thing in there. Uh, I'll find out something. My father like, is a mechanic, so without just be easy just to ask him, and I won't get this for but whatever. Um, in all fairness, she's just such a cool prop overall. She's very detailic and realistically, the, her motion's just quite simple. You really can't expect much from her. I personally just find that her motion's just, it honestly just fits her perfectly fine. There's nothing really more you can do other than just her walking back and forth, which would look stupid. So realistically, this prop is probably a really good one from 2014. Probably my second favorite from 2014. My first being probably like Katie but in all honesty, this prop is just so cool. I really love her details, and I just love her, just everything about her, really. I have no cons whatsoever about her, and honestly, I'm just so happy I got her for a good deal. Believe it or not, I did not get her for a good deal because she's broken. She wasn't a the sword display or anything like that. She was just normally like that. But that is completely fine with me because I just love her. Um, there are days where she'll work, and then there are days where she won't. So that's really my only con. On, other than that, I have no issue. She's just, her details and everything just overall is just such a 10 out of 10 for me, so yes. Uh, well, that's basically what I have for Holiga or Heliga or however you pronounce it in the English dictionary. Well, hope I wasted your day. Yep. Yeet.